just trying to bring it up on screen. Bear with me a second, guys. somebody watching let me turn that volume down all right comments off comments on I can see oh hey Cheryl how are you darling hey Diana Oh, Sandra, oh my God, I miss your face. How are you, darling? I've got some stuff here for you too, Sandra. Sorry, I need a drink. Alrighty. Oh, I've just realised I don't have my watch on. That's a horrible feeling. Hey, Nat, Linda, Kirsten. Alright. So... I just thought that I could do washing and boring shit around the house or I could oh, knock the table for the 17th time. Let's just move that. Um, or I could, oh, hello, Trina. Um, I could make something and have a bit of a play in my little junk journal. So um, I'll get this all out of the way. Here we go. Um, and I just felt like, yeah, having a bit of a play and having a bit of a chat to everyone. So I've got all the comments up and I can see everybody's comments. And there's a few people watching. Good o. Hey, Catherine. Um, so this time doing it in a, in, a, in a little event page, I thought might be a little bit different than doing it on my live, on my Facebook because, um, the people who aren't crafty, who are friends with me through Facebook, get bombarded with all of my crafty stuff. Um, so I thought maybe we'll try it this way and see if it works. And do a um, just a little play date and go from there. So I'm going to be doing a whole lot of waffling on. I have got a very small idea about what I want to be doing and... Um, not really too sure, just thought I'd have a bit of a play in my in my junk journal and which I'm really enjoying playing with at, at the moment. So, um, but before I do that, we have got um, over the next few weeks or the next few days, I should say, I've got something like 10. Oh, can you guys hear me? Can anybody hear me? Because someone has just said, is there fa is there sound? I should hope that there's sound. Can Or are you just like looking at me doing sign language? Can someone comment if they can hear me, please? Yes, you can. All right. Yes. Okay. Good, good. Um, so if you don't have sound, you might want to turn up your device. Um, and for those of you who are watching it on a smaller device, um, you might want to, and your comments will be all across here from there down, just swipe those across because you won't see my boobs and my guts hanging over the page. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Delivery. So we have got so much new stuff coming in to the point where my little shop here at home, uh, tomorrow Trevor and I are having to put some new shelving up and put some new um, stuff up on the walls to hold all the new stock. So um, there's a lot going on. Um, so I we got these stamps in. These are waffle flower stamps, which I absolutely love, love, love. So these guys have come in and these are super cute. Oh, Mandy, I'm sorry that you can't hear me. Well, you can't, and I'm, there's no point saying that because you can't hear me, can I? <laughs> um, I'll have to write a note for, for Mandy. So, yeah, these guys all came in. These are gorgeous. So these are up on the website now, plus a top-up of um, 
All the mint got two big boxes of mint in yesterday as well. Oh, I love this. Um, hang on. Hang on. Can, is Mandy, you still there? Turn on your volume on your device, Mandy. Um, okay, so, yeah, lots of top-ups of stock. I've got some kits that I'll be putting online this afternoon. Um, these little clear enamel dots came in. So this is the white and clear set. And that is, um, they're the clear set. So they've come in as well. But there's lots of really, really lovely bits and pieces that will be coming in over the next few days. So, um Thanks, guys, for helping Mandy out there. I don't quite know what's going on. So, um, all right, so powering on through, enough waffle. What I'm going to do, this is my junk journal. So this is the Scrap Effects junk journal that I have been working on throughout the last few months. And hang on just a sec. I'm sorry, guys. I've just realized I don't know if my right Wi-Fi is on properly. Hang on. Yep, it is. All right. Because I would hate. There we go. All right. So um, my junk journal is uh, what I've been working on throughout the year, having a bit of a play in. And the Scrap Effects junk journals are great because they're made up of lots of different things to get you thinking. So these are the pages that I have created so far. Uh, painty pages, but also using... Um, the scrap effects die cuts. Um, I love that they've got these lovely little cutouts in here. They are really, really cool. Um, you can staple in them. This one, this particular junk journal, the uh, cover page is an envelope. And then it's got some really awesome little attachments. Here's a page I did the other night using the new Dina Wakely stamps and stencils and gloss sprays. Um, and I don't know why that's going all pixelated. Sorry, guys. Um, and then what I decided to do with the acetate page that's in here is I did some tags out of the alcohol ink um, demo pieces that I did the, a couple of weeks ago. So I was pretty happy with those, actually. Um, what else have I got in here? There's another little page I had a bit of a play with. Um, so that's on one of the die cut pages and that's using gloss sprays with some stickers that I had. Um, and then that's the other page that I did on the live Facebook um, over the show weekend um, using the, what's that, the rice paper. So there's a painty page. Oh, my gesso's leaked through, too bad. Um, Another one using paint, stencils, and the collage rice papers. Um, what else have I got here? Hang on. And then the other page that is the other acetate page in the junk journal. Um, I used some of the cutouts. These are the funky peeps from Scrap FX. And popped a bit of mesh tape underneath. Um, just glued it, well, double-sided taped it on, so I've got one on that side. So it's not a full-blown page, but it's enough that, you know, it looks kind of cool. So, yeah, there's my junk journal, and then that's the other page that we did in the live demo a couple of weeks ago. So, um, which I really, really love that page. All right, so what I have done in my journal is I have pre-gessoed a page. I'm going to take all of these extra pages out because I haven't put the book together yet. What happens when you buy these um, little junk journals? They come with a some cotton, some oh, what do they call it? Like a, an embroidery embroidery cotton or something like that to um, to bind it all together. So I'm not ready to do that yet. So I'm just going to. Just putting it together with some washi tape. 
So the page that I am um, working on today has got, this is just obviously taken out of a, um, a book, so it's like a sketch paper. It's actually quite thin. And then this one, as you can possibly see, is a, a graph paper. So I have just put a little tape down through the middle and I've got some gesso. So I've coated it with gesso to seal it a bit because what I, what I would like to do today is work with Lindy's Magicals. So I've got some of the Magical Shakers out and I've also got some Distress Oxides, but I'm gonna be working with water. Um, I've got some, I've pulled out some tags, some stamps. Um, the Stampers Anonymous order came in, finally. So I'm gonna be using the Professor today, um, the Game Wheel stamp. So someone commented the other day on, um, on the stamp on the picture online and I went, yep, you can tell that is one of my most used stamps. That is absolutely almost knackered. Um, well and truly used and I pulled that one out to use. Plus my um, Won't Let You Down stamp, Off The Grid stamp, and I've got some numbers and a few other little bits and pieces as well. So, um, all right. I might put a little tissue paper down to start with. So I've got the, I don't know, I think that's the document tissue paper from Timmy Holtz. Um, gotta love Mr. Timmy Holtz and some gel medium, and I'm going to just pop a little on my page just to give it, it's gonna give it a little bit more strength, it's gonna give it a bit more integrity, and give it um, a bit of interest in the background. So, I'm going to be using the, yeah, gel medium to put that on. I'm not making it too thick, but I still want to get it on there. And I'm going to be doing today more of a vintage style page. So all the colours that I have prepared are browns and navy blue, uh, working with those sorts of colours. So, And I'm going to add some strength to my spine here by putting tissue paper through the spine. Uh, I might use a bit of this one. So how's everybody's Saturday going? Is there anybody doing anything exciting or is this it? Oh, shit. Um, and for those of you who haven't watched one of my lives before, I'm not going to apologise for my swearing in advance, but I do need a swear jar going on. I'm, I tend to be a little bit uh, honest, one would say. So using the gel medium to stick that down because gel medium is an awesome adhesive and then going over the top with the gel medium just make sure that it seals. <laughs> Am I the highlight of your weekend, Del? Sorry about that, love. Um, it is what it is, though. I'll pop that one in there. And that's a lot of gel medium there so I'm just going to polish that off with my fingers to take off any excess um, now I had a lovely start to the day went off to boxing this morning with a very slight hangover which I really do need to learn my lesson on that one um, a little dehydrated from the champers last night but that's okay I powered through, didn't I, Trina? Um, didn't throw up. Hey, Marilyn. Um, yeah, enjoyed the boxing session this morning, but far out. I felt like I was. I didn't. It didn't feel great. Um, I really do need to learn not to drink the night before going to boxing. Um, and I was. I did have every intention of only having one glass of wine, or one. Who only has one glass of champagne? Like, seriously. That's just not a thing. Um, but no, I got through my boxing session this morning and I didn't die, although I felt like it. Um, so it wasn't too bad. All right. So I have just added my collaging and I'm just polishing it off with my fingers, which just is wiping off any excess and it speeds up the drying time. Um... Important note, soak your 
brush in some sort of water, wash it immediately because it will completely ruin your brush if you don't. Um, so I've just got a glass of water up on the side here and then I'm gonna wrap it in a baby wipe so I don't have to go and run a tap. So that it's super wet so that I can go and do that later on. Um, now I've got wet hands. All right, next thing I wanna do, cause that's super brown, but I just wanna add a little bit of gesso over the top because I want to, I'm not covering it up, I'm just not making it so full on because it's a lot. All right. So yes, the thought was today to do something a little bit more vintagey and a bit more um, not so bright. In the past, when I've done live Facebooks, I've done a lot of live, a uh, lot of bright, punchy pages. Um, but I want to go a little bit more antique this time. Uh, a little bit more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Heritage. Yeah, heritage based. Um, to show you that your junk journal or your art journal doesn't necessarily have to be super bright and totally colored all the time. You can have white space. You can go for something a little bit more vintage based. It's completely up to you because it's your art journal. Sticky fingers. I actually also pulled out some dictionary paper I was going to stick down as well, but I can't be bothered doing that now. Um, all right, because I've washed my gel medium brush. And now I need to dry that off. So excuse me a moment while you watch paint dry. And Ollie is sitting outside the studio door chewing on a bone. So if you hear the two dogs fighting because it's because Ollie's being a little prick and Macy is wanting to have a go at the bone as well and because they're dogs and they don't know how to share that's a thing um so yes they are uh, Ollie won't go anywhere else because I'm in here the dog is sitting right outside the door if he could be sitting at my feet under my desk chewing on the bone I swear he would be He's, um, he's not a very popular puppy at the moment. He, while we went over to our neighbours last night, he decided to chew on my $250 Brooks sneakers that I wear because I've got plantar fasciitis in my foot and I can't wear cheap sneakers because my feet are shagged. So Ollie decided to have a bit of a go at softening those for me with his teeth. Um, consequently, he got a firm foot in his ass last night when we got home from the neighbor's place. Wasn't too thrilled. Um, all right, so what I wanna do is I wanna stick a tag on, and this is gonna be my focal point. Um, I'm going to put that maybe, I don't know, there. Um, I got Jessica earlier to pre-cut some cogs for me. These are just on Kayser Craft cardstock, nothing special at all. Um, and I think because, you know, this guy just screams steampunk. So I think I might put some cogs across the page so they'll get colored. Uh, what else am I gonna do? Got a whole heap of background stamping. I'm gonna really work my background in with the Distress Oxides and the Lindy's Magical. So this tag, I'm really not too sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Um, I've got a bit of an idea, but let's just start having a bit of a play and see what happens. Um, I pulled some inspiration sheets off the internet 
found some images, um, which is something that I quite often do. I was talking to someone last week who I think is watching, um, and we were talking about how to be inspired for an art journal. Um, as a, you know, a lot of us started off as scrapbookers, so we started off and, you know, when you're a scrapbooker, you've got a photograph to to work with and that's usually your, your starting point or your base. That's how we get inspired um, or by the pattern paper. But when you have to work from a completely blank piece of paper, how do you, how do you get that going? How do you start that process of creating uh, a page? So what I do is I quite often pull up a image from Pinterest. So I will quite often pull a an image, something, you know, I've got a stamp that I want to start with. And so today it's the professor. So what I want to do is, is use the professor as my inspiration. And, you know, he doesn't scream young, bright sort of page. He screams steampunk and vintage um so that's that's what i'm thinking with doing this so that's where that inspiration comes from and and i pull like i said i pull inspiration from the internet um from pinterest pull up ideas that i see from there and go yep that's a good place to start i like that you know i don't copy what i see on the internet what i do is i pull inspiration from another image whether it be one tiny little element and go oh that's a great idea or whatever it might be. So the um, the image, the, the idea that I had today was pulling it from um, an image where a tag is used underneath the picture of the professor. So, um, all right, so I'm using the Lindy's Gang Magical Shakers and I have pulled out a few different colors here. Um, I've got an antique bronze, I have got Brat West Brown. This one is Afternoon Delight Denim. I have got Antique Gold. And I'm just putting a little bit into here to start with. So the shakers are, for those of you who, you've all heard me bang on about how much I love Lindy's, but the, the Lindy's shakers have a, a pigment dye-based powder. So the pigment means it's full of colour. The dye means that it is permanent and the powder means that I need to activate it to get the magic to happen. Um, you can get them in the little pots like these or the same product, it just, the delivery is different. If a lot of people have already got lots of things, like lots of pots like this, if you do, but you prefer the shakers, you can actually, you can actually transfer that into the empty shaker bottles that I've got available on the website. So that's an option. So I've just put some powder into here and now I've got a pipette and some clean water and I'm just gonna make up a little wash here. Um, I have made up a lot. I really don't need all of this, but you know, let's commit to it. go and let's move that out of the way so actually what I remember last time I did a live somebody asked me about the mat that I was using in the background um, I found some I have ordered them they're on their way in in white but I can't remember who it was so if it was you me I don't know how much they're going to be and which part of the week they're going to come in in but they are on their way um now i want to test these colors before i start so i'm just going to grab a bit of paper that was you elizabeth okay um let me write that down quickly Right, see, done. You're on my list. Um, 
Alrighty, so what I want to do before I start is I always, always test my colours. There's absolutely no what I'm working with. And what happens is I need to be able to give them a good stir and bring the colours together. So the, the colours, because they are a pigment and they're a powder and you need to activate them, it also means that all of those colours will separate if you don't mix them together. So this is the Antique Bronze, which is a real blue-based brown. And this is Bratwurst Brown, which is a pink-based brown. And you really, really see that in the colours when you when you test them. Um, this is the Cowabunga Copper. And it is a, a real, real copper. And all of these have a shimmer in them. So that's what I am playing with today. This one is the Antique Gold. And it's a lovely dirty gold. If the dirty gold can be lovely. You know, that's it. And then this is the Afternoon Delight Denim. Super pigmented. So here's the bonus with testing this. I didn't want to put that colour straight on my page and get caught with it being so bold. So that's where testing it will work first. And this is the Black Word. No, bum, 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 bum. What's it called? Black. Oh, my God, I've had a brain fade. Black Forest Black which is black, exactly that. So I know what all my colours look like now and I've got them in front of me and I can see exactly what I want to be doing. Um, all right, so to start with, hit the camera again. So to start with, I'm going to start with the lightest colour. I don't want to go with my darkest colour first because I can't fix that if I put too much on because it is a... A dye it's dyeing the paper um, let's go about there so I'm gonna start with this lovely gold I'm just gonna start puddling it on my page um, because if I didn't seal this paper with gesso first and a little bit of the gel medium what would happen is that it would just soak in and it's not going to give me much movement so I'm just using a Montmartre brush, the number 12 from the gallery series and um, so it's holding lots of liquid and I'm really just going to puddle the colour in and around and, and just move it. Not doing anything special. Uh, now I want to go in with this one here and just overlap it. and puddle it on. So where I've got a line like this, I don't particularly want. So I'm just using a wet paintbrush now and I'm just going to blend that out to that corner so I don't have straight lines because I don't want straight lines. I don't want perfect. I want a, a casual sort of look to this. I, I would need to make sure that that's going to happen. I don't want that line there. So just off camera, I've got a My Little Water Well and I'm going to keep my brush moving. I'm not going to go in for the blue and the black just yet because they're going to be like the highlight colours, but I'm just going to have a play with the colours that I've got here and just move them around a bit like so. And now I'm concentrating on this and I'm not seeing your comments. Sorry, guys. All right. So I've got full control over this color. I can build it up, I can make it more intense, I can lighten it if I need to. I can add lots of different layers and and build on it. So because it I've mixed it with water, I have the ability, I have the power, I have the ability to be able to play with that. And I'm quite happy with that. And I'm just going to move over to this page now and do exactly the same thing. And again, it's using a wet brush. 
just, oh, whoops. Gosh. Rinse the brush. I didn't mean to put it in the black. I meant to put it in the brown because I'm not concentrating. There we go. But I'm not after brush strokes. I'm after puddled, puddled colour and moving that around. And I'm also watching that I don't get too much going down in that gap because it's not sealed with tape. I only sealed that bit for some bizarre reason. Um, I don't want it to puddle too much in there and run through to my other pages. But it's just the background that we're playing with. And I've let that dry on there. But because it's sitting on gesso and it's not 100% dry, I'm wanting to blend that out a little. So the reason why I'm not adding the blue and the black right now is because I'm not ready to give it that level of depth just yet. Um, so again, just a brush to spread around the colour to tone it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be on there, blending it around like that. Nice and easy. And I need to blend that. See how that's sitting like that? I don't want it to dry like that. So I need, again, wet paintbrush just to move it around. And my page is not super wet. It's, it's wet enough, but it's not saturated. It's not going through to the other side because I've got that, um, that gesso coating. And I put a bit more of that copper down the bottom here and hit that with the heat gun to dry it off. Which is where here. Chat amongst yourselves. Paper towel would have been great. And I'm focusing on um, drying in the spine area first in case that there is any bleed through because that is really annoying when it ruins a page on the other way, on the other side. So at the moment, it's a bit of a hot mess. But it's working. No patience to watch that dry. So I'm just going to take off the puddles with some paper towel. Thank you, Kirsten. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's not taking off the colour. It's just taking off those damp puddles that I had sitting around. So I'll bring that up to camera so you can see. because it's catching on the tissue paper in different spots, so our, our colours are enhanced in areas and it's got a lovely shimmer to it as well. All right, so I wanna add some of this blue now, but I'm gonna go with less is best because it's a lot of blue, right? It's really strong. So, how do I do that? Um, I'm gonna make a puddle on the side of my mat that is a lighter shade because I know, <laughs> um, yeah, it would actually, Julie, if I had taped all the way down the middle, then yes, it would have stopped that bleed through, but I'm not that precious about my, my journal. Um, it doesn't particularly phase me too much that I'm getting, um, you know, that I get that bleed through, but yeah, you certainly can tape it. Um, actually, that reminds me, the tape that is coming in in the next day or so, no, it's Saturday, so probably Monday or Tuesday, the Dina Wakely uh, clear, like white, almost transparent washi tape. I've got a whole heap of these coming in very soon. Um, they are on their way. So, um, hey, Vicky. 
I see you watching there. So the blue, I'm just going in quite light and I'm going to stick to the edges. I'm not going to put the blue straight in the middle because then it's going to be a big blue like ink fart in the middle. So I'm just kind of brushing it around the side to start with and then I can move the colour in from there. So where I've got that line that I've just created that I really don't love. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so what I want to do here is I want to tone that down with some water. So just some wet brush, not no colour on it, just, and I can just spread that out, okay? <laughs> I can't believe my phone rang. Got to love that. Just popping a little bit around the page, adding a few little splatters. And once this is dry, I'm also going to be adding some Distress Ink to intensify the, these colours as well. So it's just about building that, that background and building it up. Um, I did want to make sure that everything underneath was dry first. Because I'm adding blue to it, like I've got a bit of orange in here. If I'm adding blue, I really have to be aware of, of not mixing the colours together to create a new colour. I want it to sit on top. Okay. And I can't just put the, like I said, I can't just put the blue in the middle, otherwise it's going to be floating in the middle of nowhere and it's not connected. So it does need to be, you know, kind of working around the edges to connect it to something. All right. Beautiful. So I have been, um, while I'm doing this, I'll just give you a bit of an update on what's been going on here in the studio um, and, and give you a bit of an update on a few different bits and pieces. I know that Adelaide ladies are desperately wanting me to do classes. Um, at the moment, I've put everything on hold because... My business, my tiny little business has gone from being this big to like this big very, very quickly, which is wonderful. And that is all thanks to you guys. Um, so I have been kind of hitting struggle town a bit, trying to get a bit of a balance on keeping it all happening. Um, at the moment, I don't have enough hours in the day to keep the website running, pack orders, order stock, um, do kits, reply to emails, organise my retreat that's coming up. Um, there's two online shows happening in October. There's so much happening. And I have found that I just don't have enough hours in the day to do it all. Like, seriously. Oh, and be a wife and a mum for goodness sake, and a friend. I am a shitty, shitty friend at the moment um, to the point where I just hang up, hung up just then on one of my girlfriends. Um, so there you go. This is a bit of a close-up on how what's going on with this blue. Um, so what, what I've done is I've decided to um, admit that I can't do it all by myself. Um, Jessica, for those of you who do know, Jessica, my our, our lovely daughter, she is currently doing year 11 at school, um, has a boyfriend, we've had a big few months, new boyfriend, new car, got her peas. Um, everything has happened very, very quickly and Jessica has been doing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff but she's also struggling um, to keep up with everything. Um, I'm just separating this, sorry, this tissue from the, my backing paper because I should have done that earlier. Um, so, yeah, so it's been quite a, a very busy few months and I have decided that I needed to put on, I've needed to put on a staff member now, um, which is exciting uh, but scary at the same time. So... Um, we are just in the process of working all of that out, plus also in the process of rebuilding my website um, and having a 
Oh, yes, and the two very needy bulldogs. Thank you, Vicky. Um, yeah, rebuilding the website and making it easier for you guys to navigate around. So it has been a very, very busy few months for me. Um, so there we go. All right, I've got to dry that. So I decided that, yeah, employing a staff member and making all of that happen is what's happening next. So exciting things. Um, the studio has will be open to the public for shopping very soon. Um, I'm going to be setting some regular days and dates and opening up for private sessions where you can come in on a Friday night or um, depending on availability on a Saturday and come in and do your own thing. At the moment, I have decided to not do classes in the studio. I just can't do it all. I know, right? Um, all right, so I'll come back to talking about that later. What I want to do now is I want to have a bit of a play with these tags. And some, while this is drying, I've got a manila tag. So there are some distress, Tim Holtz distress tags in the shop um, available, the Ranger ones. Uh, but what I want to do is, and there's craft tags and there's um, manila tags. There's some, a pack of white tags. I think there's possibly still some Dina Wakeley tags in the shop. So what I want to do is, um, <laughs> yes, Sandra, I'd love to have you visit if you're ever allowed to come out of Victoria. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but, you know, if you don't laugh, you cry, right? Um, so I'm going to use some Distress Oxides, and I've just pulled out a few different colours here. Um, vintage Photo is going to be yellow so I think I want to go and I thought maybe old paper but yeah nah so I'm going to go with chip sapphire a little speckled egg perhaps and gathered twigs and I'm just going to start with a little blending around the outsides to get some colour on <laughs> um, yeah, I'd love to have all you guys come and visit. Um, I think that would be fantastic. Um, and I would have you all here in a heartbeat. Um, so yeah, I, there's, a, there's a lot going on at the moment. And it, like I said, it's been a huge year business-wise for me. And I'm absolutely thrilled. And I would love to be able to do some more online classes. But I've just it's just a case of having enough hours in the day to do everything and um you know if i'm it's it's really hard to it's not so much admitting defeat it's more just admitting that i need help so um i'm going to hopefully be able to allocate more time to you doing classes and to you guys doing um like kits I've got two new kits that'll go online this afternoon. Um, one is painted Christmas cards using gorgeous AB Studios. I've made the kit. I've written the instructions. It is just sitting here ready to be loaded up onto the website. Um, so that is happening. And what else have I got? I've got some, I've got some Minte Christmas cards, AB Studio Christmas cards. Um, I'm working on a Simple Stories mini album which i'm about to put up for pre-order and that is a gorgeous um, christmas album as well so um all right so what i'm doing as you can see so this is gathered twigs and gathered twigs is a really a darker brown and um, i don't know that i love this but what i'm going to do to to see if you know try and get it to work is i'm going to try a couple of different techniques and see which one i like now even though that's not going to look nice sitting on there, I'm going to be adding that colour to there in a minute. So before I do that, I want to do something else. I want to try and see what this technique looks like. Putting the ink straight on, finding some water spray. I'm going to wet it. And I'm going to squish it. Because I don't know what it's going to, um, how this is going to look. I thought maybe I'll try this way as well. 
like I said, no plan, but, oh, that could work too. No plan here, but I'll give it a whirl. Um, take a little bit off because it's, oh, that's better. That's much better. Um, yeah, so for those local ladies, the classes won't be happening here in the studio, but um, I will be having open days where you can come in and, like I said, you can um, come in and scrap, art journal, make cards, do what you want, have a shop. Um, don't love that. Let's do it this way. Um, plenty of opportunity for you to come in and have a play. That is the plan. All right, let's try this then because I have got no idea. I'm going to spread that around. Oh, that's working better. I'm just going to let that sit there and then I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm going to see which one I like after. And this, like I said, this is my, this, I don't have a, a, a plan here on trying to get this colour to work nicely. There's no magic way of, you know, predicting how it's going to look. So I'm totally winging it here. And if it looks like shit, then I won't be surprised and I'll just screw it up, put it in the bin and try something new. Because that's how we learn. Um, I want to add some speckled egg in a minute. Uh, so, but I want this to be a little bit drier first. Heat gun. So yes, hopefully once I have, um, a staff member on board to free up some of my time so I can then create some more classes, create some more kits, do some more more in-depth classes online so some scrapbooking layouts as a facebook class for example um that is what i really would love to do where you can buy a kit first and then put it all together online i think that's going to be amazing um and do some really cool things like that so yes the plans are there um but i just just haven't got the time at the moment and we're working on that so this is the speckled egg and I'm just wanting to add a little bit of that to the tag that's not bad let's try this one And I don't mind that as well. Okay. So I'm going to put these guys. Oh, shivers. These guys just off to the side to air dry. Because I want to add now some distress ink to this background. So what has happened with my layout that I have, my background that I've created, as it has dried up, the colours have changed a little and I love that. So where I put that really dark blue, the gesso has come up through it and allowed that colour to lighten up really quite nicely. So I'm now going to add some more of that. Uh, the, uh, the colour before the speckled egg was, sorry, speckled egg was chipped sapphire. So the only colours of distress oxides that I'm going to use, gathered twigs, Chip sapphire and speckled eggs. Okay, so speckled egg. So now I want to do that smushy technique on here to incorporate some of those colours, all right? So I'm going to start with that, that gathered twig straight onto the mat. Give it a spray. Wet brush, smush it around a little. And that's the other thing I'll be able to do when I get a little bit more time on my hands is put into play some of the designs that I have got for some new stamps and stencils, which is exciting. See, smush, 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 smush. 
So now some of that brown from the gathered twigs is coming into the page. So now I'm just doing the good old finger paint because our fingers are our best tool. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And before I do anything else, I need to dry it. Um, Vicky, yes, my new staff member is someone that most of you have met, and it's my sister Louise. So, um, Lou is going to come on board and help me with quite a bit of the background stuff that just sucks up so much of my day. Um, you know, the, the orders, the online stuff, making the website look pretty, um, cleaning up after me, but she doesn't know about that bit yet, so we won't have that discussion just yet. Um, loading stock online, filling customer orders, getting in contact with you guys to see if there's anything that you need. Um, you know, helping helping me do the kits, because kitting is a huge part, a huge part of, of doing um, online classes and a huge part of, of that side of the business. So, um, Writing instructions, I'm still going to have to do because there's no way she can get into my head. And perfectly honest, I don't think anybody really wants to get inside my head. But um, the, you know, getting all of these things is just fantastic. But I just need the help doing it. All right, so I'm going to do something very similar here with the chip sapphire. As you can see, I'm building all of that colour up quite nicely and I'm going to focus the chip sapphire just in a couple of different spots so that I'm not doing the whole page or it's going to be a lot. And although it looks a bit dirty, it's really working very nice. But yes, Jessica will also still be working for me as well because she has to earn her petrol money and her mobile phone and all those things because she's a teenager. And then I'll send her out in the real world to work for one of you guys, I reckon. What do you think about that? All right. Um, still we're getting there. Building, building, building background. So this... this art journal technique you can do in your dilutions journal or your art by marlene journal or whatever oh that's vicky oh you probably already got it but new art by marlene all the new stuff should be hopefully in by the end of the week happy days um it's all coming in Okay, so that's actually coming together quite all right. Um, I'm going to bring it up to camera in a sec so you can kind of see the effect that is happening. Because um, I'm sure it just looks like a dog's breakfast on the screen. But up close, it's not that bad. So now the tag that I created earlier is actually gonna sit a little bit better. Alrighty, so while that is happening, I'm going to put it aside to dry somewhere. And come back to these two tags here, because I still haven't decided which one I wanna use. Um, so I'm going to, actually no, let's, let's color some of these guys so these um i cut jessica cut out earlier for me because i'm lazy um but i want to put some cogs around my page so the way to do that is i'm going to color them in a couple of different ways i'm going to color them in the magicals that we played with before 
and I'm going to do some also in the Distress Oxides and see which ones I like better. Um, so this is not on watercolour card or anything like that. It is on Kazercraft cardstock um, because I had heaps of scraps of that from cutting kits and I'm not colouring them 100%. I'm going to mix the colours together really nicely. Like that. Start with the first colour and I'll put the other half of them aside over here, which I will run them, put the Distress Oxides through them in a minute. Not a whole lot of that gold left, but let's get it on there just the same. So using these colours ties it into the background that we have already created. Um, and because, like I said, I don't really know what's going to look nicer, whether it be the Distress Oxides or the Magicals on here, for the extra eight seconds it's going to take me, then I'm just going to try and do it with both and see, you know, I might mix them all together and, and have some cogs going on in Distress Oxides, some that I've coloured with the Magicals. And I don't want to put too much black on, but what I'm going to do with the black is just, I've loaded my brush with it and just give them a little bit of depth on the side. And then it just becomes a nicer shade. It, it's not so full on and in your face because again, black can be very unforgiving but it does need a little lift. And even putting it on the edge of the cog, on the um, heat proof mat, it's bleeding up into the color. It's bleeding up into the papers um, rather than sitting on top and making it super full on. All right, so now I'm going to put those on a piece of paper towel because I'm going to do the same thing with Distress Oxides. Get the trusty tweezers out. So Vicky, are you coming down tomorrow to pick up your order, are you? Is that the plan? going to pop in and say hey um, and I've got there's a couple of other people who I think are watching today whose orders are sitting here ready for collection um, Rebecca if you're hanging around your order is out and ready for in the click and collect box and oh there's that little one there I nearly forgot about um, Okay, where's that gathered twigs? Let's do that. So do exactly the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna do a swish here. I'll do a swish of chip sapphire, which I think is my all time favorite. Between that and peacock feathers in the chip sapphire. Chip sapphire I go back to every single time. And then that one is the speckled egg. All right, so this time I'm going to just dump them. Oh, so pretty. Oh, look at that, shiny things and I'll get so sidetracked. Um, oh look, I don't even know what I was saying. I got so sidetracked by what I was doing. How sad am I? So I'm just going with the brown first because I want that to be my dominant colour. I want that to be the boldest colour that I can see. 
and then I will go in and add some blue. And I might just do one more big cog. And just popping it aside here kind of gives it a little bit of time to um, seep in and be a little bit more um, permanent. And then I can just go in and add a little blue, but I'm just gonna hit it with a heat gun quickly. So that they don't muddy up too much. So now I can go back in and I've got my blue puddle here and I want to fill in my gaps like that and incorporate that blue. And I think I'm getting more on my hands so I'm going to use the tweezers. To drag that through. How did Jessica cut the spro the sprogs the cogs out? Okay, so these were cut out using the paper rose cogs die um, that is available online and uh, with the die cutting machine. So I have my die cutting machine of choice is the Gemini Junior, and that is the electronic die cutting machine um, because I'm lazy for no other reason. Um, and using a metal die, we cut those out. Um, I do love my Gemini Junior uh, and I can get those in. I just haven't got any in stock at the moment, but they are an investment tool. But being an electric die cutting machine, it is something that you know you have for a long time and they have a great warranty as well. So um, the die cutting machine, is super easy to use so Beck if you want a demo just let me know and I can arrange a time to do that they are fantastic but there are other options instead of a Gemini you can get a I can order you a big shot machine in or the Kazercraft one which is a lower quality product but it still does the job job just fine um, but they are fantastic for cutting out your own embellishments like these so using the metal dies Okay, just heat setting that before I go in with the speckled egg because I want the speckled egg to sit on top. So I want it to sit and grab. Oh, that looks so good. And put that aside. All right. And I don't want to do my whole area. I just want to pick up in a few little spots those colours. But yeah, the, the distress oxides do work a little bit differently than, than the Magicals, of course, because these are a different product. But I just wanted to try and see how they looked if I was to do this. Because, like I said, no plan. Yeah, Gemini Junior is what I use, Julie. Um, I do love my Gemini Junior. Um, it's a nice size machine. And um, because it's an electric die cutting machine, it just what it effortlessly pumps it through. So I've been using a, a Gemini Junior for a couple of years. I still have got my Big Shot, and um, but I just don't use it as much as I could do. So this is the Magicals Cog, and that's that one so that has I do like these a bit better but because I just can't leave it alone I'm just gonna mix it up a little before I dry all these off um, yeah I do I do love my Gemini I chew through a lot of plates that's the only thing I don't love about the Gemini it goes through um, I chew through plates which is why I've uploaded yes or today on the website um, replacement plates for them because I had to order some in for myself. And I just want to get a little bit more of that speckled egg 
on some of these guys. So thank you for those of you who have just joined in. Um, you've missed everything. <laughs> but, no, you haven't. Um, we're just creating a page and watching me. I, I didn't really have much of a plan. And I am absolutely winging it here with... I don't know what finish is going to look better. So I'm creating a few different backgrounds here with uh, a few different designs with my cogs to see which one I like more. Um, like I said, I, I had a bit of an idea on which direction I was going to go. Uh, and now I am colouring the cogs while my tags are drying and my art journal page is drying off before I add the stamping next. So I'm just going to put all of these onto my dirty piece of paper towel here, clean off my background and then they can sit aside and dry while I while I stamp on my tag and my art journal page and add some colour with the oxides. All right. Popping that somewhere safe where I'm not going to knock it onto the floor. Alright. And back to a semi-clean spot again. Alrighty. So what I want to do with my junk journal page is I have incorporated... I've used this gathered twigs on my tag, right? But there's not really much of it on here. So I'm thinking I need to add some more of this color onto here, but I might stencil and I might stamp with it instead. Um, the stencils that I dragged out, let's have a look. I grabbed a pile. I grabbed my dots, I grabbed some of the Dina Wakely wordy ones, which is, this is the one I like at the moment. Let's go with this one. So I want to add some gathered twigs to the background using a stencil. So I'm going to get in there like so and I'm not phased about what it says I just need it to be words um, to the point where I'm now going to layer it up and I let it overlap a little bit so that it doesn't you can't necessarily read what it says but what is really important is that it's straight. I've got horizontal lines on here and it's not all going crisscross because you want something again that is visually pleasing. You do not want a dog's breakfast of a mish mishmash of letters and stenciling. You want something that looks nice. Um, the blending brush is my my choice, I could also use um, this one here, but that would involve me finding clean sponges. And that's not going to happen today. Um, and put some down here for balance because I don't want it to just be... On one side so that's using the gathered twigs down there and up the top up there so you can see how that overlap makes it you can see that it's there but you can't read what it says and that's the whole concept of that um, I could also spray some water on my stencil and do that but I'm not going to. I'm going to show a little restraint today. Just for shits and giggles. Um, but I want to add 
some chip sapphire. Um, I only got one blending sponge out, so I'm just going to take the color off onto a baby wipe. Drink break. Nat, whether you're winging it or designing it, it always comes out amazing, so keep winging it anyway. Thanks, Pina. You can stay. <laughs> All right, so I just want to pop a little bit of this blue over the top now. Um, just for a little dimension. Yes. And I didn't want to go too heavy because that this chip sapphire is a bit strong. Yeah, that worked. See how surprised I sound? Anyway. And I'm connecting my stenciling to an edge. My stenciling is always connected to an edge. Otherwise, it's just visually pleasing. Um, it's connected to an edge. And yes, I love that these oxides are creamy. They are so nice to use and just give a great, a great finish there. That up there. So that little blue is just giving it a, a pop. Um, all right, let's pop that aside, come back. I want to add some stamping now. I've got that, I've got that, I've got that one, which I don't want to use, I've got that one, and I've got my grid. Okay, so what I'd like to do now, I've got some black arc, oh, I've got a mess, that's what I've got, I've got a freaking mess, bear with me. Pop these aside. That's better. Um, I want to start creating a bit of a frame. So I think that if I use my uh, on the grid stamp, to start building a frame around my, my page. So I'm going to do that with that stamp. Uh, am I gonna do it in Black Archival or Chip Seth? Oh. All right, I'm gonna do it in Chip Sapphire first and have a look and see if it's gonna be strong enough. Um, I'm a bit... I love this, I did this stamp design because I love the way that it builds a border. So I love that I can do this. I can just do a tiny little, tiny little, oh God, Natalie, hit the camera. Tiny little grid all the way around my edges or in a few spots to build up my edges and I, you know, I'm not inking it every time I'm off stamping, but I just want to move around my page and I don't, I don't need to use the whole thing. That's why it's not on an acrylic block. I want to do that. And again, I'm not crisscrossing it because that would just mess with my head. And I don't want to just put it in the middle of my page either because then it is a floating element that's not connected to anything. So... This is the thinking here, okay? Um, Sandra, I have had, I had like six of these big jumbo ink pads on the shelf, have just sold out, but I do have some coming in. So I will add you to, to get in contact with you when I get them in. Um, hang on. Or they may have actually gone on back order. Jumbo ink pad... Sandra B, right, because 
shit memory. It'll just disappear if I don't write it down. Um, okay, so just going around the page, starting to build that nice framed edge. And I am happy that I did use it in the chip sapphire and not black um, because it's a bit softer. Um, and I do like that look. So that's using the On The Grid stamp designed by Natalie May. Simple, effective, and fabulous. Oh, you too, Renee. All right, hang on. Oh, uh, Renee, I've still got your um, cracked, what is it? Crackling Campfire, the new um, Distress color here that I need to post out to you as well. I will get around to it. Um, okay, so working on my edge. Um, now I'm going to add some more key images with these two. So I've got the compass. Oh, Jackie. All right, did you have to wait till I put my pen down? Gotta love that. Jackie and Keeble, E E B L E. Okay. I will come back and read the comments later or send me a message if you do want one. All right. So the game wheel, as you can see how well used my game wheel stamp is. Oh, Michelle, I'm going to have to come back to you. I'll be writing this down all freaking day. Um, <laughs> this is my game wheel stamp. I love, love, love this stamp to death. I have easily had this stamp 10 years without a freaking lie. 10 years, easy peasy. And I'll show you what it looks like. I haven't got a scrap bit of paper, but I've got a piece of book paper. Um, that is what that stamp looks like. I love it. Um, the compass stamp is really awesome as well. I have got a big pile here somewhere of... You know the thank you cards that you get when you um, order with me? You know those little handmade ones that I make? The next, next batch that I have made, I have used one of those. Okay, so um, these make great little, great little thank you cards. And I love, love this stamp. And I just have to hand write on the back of them all. So that's what I'm going to sit down to do tonight with some Netflix. Or I could talk to my husband. But I'll probably be sitting on the lounge with my earphones on. So that's what the compass stamp looks like. All right. Enough waffling, sorry. Um, okay, big ink pad. Um, <laughs> I have just re-inked this, so it is dark. So I'm going to go lightly and get that on there so that it becomes a nice, it's not a focal image, it is a background image. And that's really important because we are building a background. So it's a partial stamp because I haven't pushed it all the way down and I'm working on an uneven surface. And there's that one up there and a little baby one down there. And some game wheel as well. And it goes this way because the one is at the top. And again, it's just one of those stupid things that I have to do. And I'm putting that one slightly in the middle, but it's connected to this stamp. Um, so it's not floating, it's connected to something. And then that will slip off to that side. And I'm gonna pop another up there, all right. So that's what we're looking at there. We've got that game wheel. It's just a really effective page. Uh, sorry, stamp to go on a page. I really, really like it. Um, so black archival ink because I haven't decided if I have finished adding colour. Because I'm probably not. Um, and now I'm going to add a little stamping using my... Um, won't let you down stamp. So what this stamp is for those of you who haven't seen it is, and I'll do it in this color to show you, um, the whole stamp is just some, here's a tag, broke, it, it's a, they're song lyrics. 
from one of my favourite songs that I have altered due to copyright, of course. But they are, it, it stamps just a nice typewriter font and they're positive lyrics as well. So I want to now add a little bit of stamping in this. A um, bit of a tip, something that will come in handy is to find a black Sharpie, which I don't have handy, but put an arrow on it to say that's the top so that you don't stamp upside down. Because that's a thing. And did I just do that upside down? Oh, get out of freaking town. I did. You dick. Okay. That's the bottom. <laughs> Crack myself up. All right, let's have another go. So, popping a little bit of this one on is adding some more <laughs> dimension. So funny. And I can put this one in the middle because... You can see that it blends into the background, okay? Um, Jackie, you've just mentioned, can I get the game wheel, please? It should be available online on the website unless the last three orders that have gone through have ordered it. I know I had about three or four available left online on the website, nataliemay.com.au. You will find them there. Um, so, and, and all the products that I've used today, you will find on nataliemay.com.au. But I didn't want to sit here and do a big sales pitch thing. That's not the idea of today's little free mini class. It's just a thank you to you guys for being super awesome and supporting me. So, um, radio. So putting that one around, it's about building that, that layer. Um, and look, I'm cleaning a stamp because that never happens. Okay, still waffling on. I'm gonna put that aside to dry while I work on my tag. So my tag is here. I'm gonna go with this one. Maybe. No, I'm not gonna go with this one because it's a bit darker. And I wanna do a little bit of um, stamping on this because I still have to put on the professor. Um, but I'm not going to stamp him directly on there. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to stamp in Chip Sapphire. Again, colour of the day for me. Like so. And it has to be three because, you know, that's a thing. And I also want to pop a little bit of this on because I love these lines and I really, really love those lines, but I don't want to use the full circle bit. So how am I going to do that? Let's think this through. So maybe I will just ink around the outsides. And that should work quite nicely. Yeah, and it bloody did. Um, because I didn't want the whole... Thing. Can you see? Oh my god, look at that. Okay, let's go with that. You see those lines? That's what I wanted. I wanted those lines showing up. Game wheel sold out. Oh my god, how did that so quickly? You guys are anyway. So oh I I'm having a moment. Let me just I may have another game wheel I will look at the messages and have a bit of a look around and be in touch but I have to do another order from Stampers Anonymous anyway but I before I do another order with Stampers Anonymous I need to find out if they have a quicker shipping option than the pigeon that it came with last time because it took so flame and long to come in and I was far from impressed with their service, so I need to find out if there is a better shipping option available because um, I will not be using that company again if their only shipping off option was to take three months because that, my friend, is bullshit. Um, COVID or no COVID, I can get... I just got an order from Poland 
that Minte order that came in, um, three boxes of about 30 kilos of paper, and that came in in, oh, that's what I was looking for, um, that came in in four, five days, five days from Poland. Um, seriously. And it takes three months for a stamp to get here, a, a stamp order to get here from um, from the States. I just think that's ridiculous. So I need to find a better solution with this company before I place any more orders. Um, okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm waffling on here. Building up. So this colour is the black soot in the Distress Oxide. It's the colour I was looking for before, but it was hiding under a tag. And that is my game wheel tag. And I'm pretty happy with that. That's worked out quite nice. Um, all right, let's stamp the Professor. So the Professor, um, I don't want to stamp him straight onto my journal. I want to stamp him onto something else first and then stick him onto the journal. Because... Uh, I, I don't, I know my stamping is shit at the best of times, so I really think that I would probably mess it up. So let's try a couple of options first. I am stamping with black soot, uh, distress oxide. Let's see how that goes on book paper. Yeah, I don't mind that. But it's a bit too white for... The paper's too white for what I have already created. So, plan B um, is I want to stamp on vellum. I love stamping on vellum or tracing paper. I think that that is a really effective way of showcasing an image um, so I'm just going to stamp this ink this up like nobody's business tracing paper oh dirty tracing paper at that vellum tracing paper whatever you want to use Hey, pretty good. I'm going to do another one just in case I don't like that one. Clean enough. Now, because archival ink is permanent waterproof bloody awesome it's also oil based which means that on a surface such as vellum or a gloss cardstock sorry julie i didn't see that um i need to dry it so it doesn't smudge um okay just reading the orders uh, reading the comments but I don't want to leave it on there too much or my image will go um, curly. But drying it off, even though archival ink is usually instant drying, on vellum you just need to make sure that it's dry. Yay! Okay, now I need to cut that out. Which image is better? Oh, I've consistently got them about, about both the same, which is pretty great. Yeah, Julie, it doesn't... Um, I, I would... <laughs> I think that drying it in between just gives you that extra little bit of confidence that it's not going to go anywhere um, without a doubt. Um, so the Professor is one of these really odd stamps. I've got this one and I've got one that I actually bought from Stampers Anonymous as well, which I paid a freaking fortune for, paid full retail, and of course, 
Um, but it is double the size. It's his. It's the much, much bigger image. And um, I just like it because it's a bit quirky. It's a bit unusual. It'll work really nice. Um, it, it's the sort of thing that you can use in masculine cards. Um, I'm sure that it would heat emboss beautifully. And I probably should have added some heat embossing to this page, but, you know, I'm not going to. Because the rest, all we have to do now, all I've got to do on the rest of this page now, after I've cut this little element out, is a little bit more stamping, I reckon. Um, maybe I want to add this tag. All right. So the bottom of this is rough. So I don't want to cut a straight line, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over so I don't get grosser fingers and I'm going to tear it. So all of you guys that are watching today, if you place an order today um, and put in the comments, um, that you watched my live art journal page, I'm going to throw in a free stubby holder to all of you because you guys rock. How does that sound? Is that all right? And if you've already done an order, flick me a message to say, Natalie, I've already ordered. You did that too bloody late. Um, so I will happily throw in a stubby holder for you. Um, okay. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off my tag. I've got my Stabilo pencil, which is my water-soluble pencil, and I'm just going to lightly do my edges on the side like that. And I've got a, white, a wet paintbrush, and I'm just going to activate that. Yeah, because I'm feeling very generous today, if, if you want, if you would like a, a free stubby holder, just put in the comments, yep, yeah, and I will add that in your order. From this weekend um, as a thank you for listening to me waffle on and swear and carry on like a pork chop while I'm doing this because um, you feel like an idiot when you're doing a live Facebook because I'm sitting here talking to myself essentially because there's nobody else in the room oh um Kirsten guess what's on the way you know that massive big die that you ordered that massive big Sizzix die Yep, it's actually on the way, darling. It, uh, I got notification this morning that it should probably be here maybe Monday or Tuesday, okay? So I look forward to seeing what you do with it because I've got no idea. Um, but it has been on back order for, what, four months? Um, oh, yeah, see, I just like that dirty, dirty edge on it there. Okay. Let's have a look what we've got here. So here is my tag. So there is all the details. So you can see that beautiful, that speckled egg sitting on the top there. I love that. I think that looks great. My, what's he called? My professor is going to sit there like so. Um, and it's all going to go here. My art journal page is looking pretty good. Um, I've just looked at it and gone, okay, I love it. I think it needs a little bit more speckled egg. So the way to do that is I'm going to puddle some speckled egg with some water. My paintbrush. Oh, clean water. Um... And I just want to put a little bit of this around the page because I love the way that speckled egg dries with this, this lightness to it. This beautiful oxide, because it's an oxide, this beautiful oxidized, oxidized? Is oxidized a word? Oxide, ox, oxid. Oh, see, I make pretty things for a living. I shouldn't really speak on camera, should I? So it's a smoker's tap. That's what I'm doing. It's a smoker's tap. 
And I need to dry that off. Oxidize. Oxidize. Yeah, that's it. Cheryl, I got your message, babe. <laughs> Sorry, the random laughing is because I get your messages come up on my screen. Um, and there's like a 20 second delay. Yes, Kirsten, I hear you. I'm working on it. And you have a very eagle eye there, sweetheart. Well done. All right, what else do I want to add? Oh, the cogs. I haven't put the cogs on. I have, what have I done with those? Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to put some cardboard behind this. Um, he is going to sit like so, but because it's, it's vellum, vellum, of course, is transparent. And if I put double-sided tape or glue behind it, I'm going to see it. So I'm going to staple him on. Oh. And I'm going to do that, but I'm being very aware that I don't want to staple through the middle of his face. So I'm just stapling the top of his head using my tiny attacher. Um, the That's going to go there. Uh, I need a piece of cardboard or some foam tape. I usually in my journals like to use cardboard, but I can't find any. Chat amongst yourselves. Um, scissors have disappeared off the face of the earth. What I like about using cardboard is A, I'm recycling, B, it's cheaper than foam tape, um, and C, it gives me a solid base, like a super solid base for my, um, instead of two pieces of foam tape would just go down like that, then it tends to dip in the middle, which just really pisses me off. So, I do this instead. And I do this on all of my homemade cards. All my cards are done like this. So if you ever buy a kit from me and it says in the, um, very lazy instructions I tend to write. It will say cardboard mount. This is what I mean by cardboard mount. All right, so I'm gonna pop him there. So that glue that I just used is puzzle glue. That is my favourite glue to use and it comes in from Poland um, and that is how it looks on the page. So it's a bit messy, it's a lot going on here at the moment, but I'm okay with that. I love it because it's my art journal page. Um, Alright, let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so stop. What, what it is, this is a glue holder. This is a, uh, it, it holds my glue in it like that. I've got one here draining my black archival ink. Um, I'm trying to source them here in Australia, okay? Um, it is not happening. Um, Kirsten, I can talk to you about it off camera, but um, that's what they are. They are a glue holder. So if you... Give me um, a, a, a little bit of time and I will endeavour to find one for you. Um, okay, so 
my cogs. I've got some cogs here. I've just got a combination of all of these cogs in. They've all dried up now. They are drying up beautifully. But what I want to do is I want to layer them across my page. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to layer them up. I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to whack some glue on the back of them all. Like that. And layer them up. I can't read your comments. Okay. Page looks good. Page looks good. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Thank you for your love. Um, and all of these colours of my cogs have actually worked out okay. Because I'm mixing a lot of the colours together... And I just got to watch my my center spine there, center spine, center page. Um, yeah, thanks, girls, for watching. I know I'm still waffling on here. I'm still going, still committing to it. See, if I go inside now, right? I have to help Trevor. No, I don't want to do that today. Oh, that works. Let's stick that there. Um, okay, lots of layers. So, I'm getting that on there. And I'm not overdoing it with the glue because there's no need to. It's just my little junk journal. It's just lots of layers together. What time is it? How long have I been? Oh, an hour and a half. Oh, look at that. Surprising how much I can talk to myself for an hour and a half and you guys. So my cogs are going to go across the line. I'm not going to go above the tag. Um, I'm not going to go too far left and right. I mean, I'm sorry, too far high or low. I need to make sure that I'm keeping a consistent look. Everybody's saying everything looks great. God, are you guys trying to wrap me up? Have you all got something better to do today? What's the deal, girls? Am I waffling on too much? Because, you know, that's not a thing. So, Cheryl, are you still around? Are you still online? Do you reckon you might make it to the retreat now that the borders are nearly open? I know they're not open yet, are they? But I should, we must be getting close to open borders. So for those of you who don't know, I run a, a scrapbooking retreat here in Adelaide, in South Australia, and um, still, it was supposed to be in May, so we postponed that, and that it's going to be in about six weeks' time, I think, in, in November, um, <laughs> um, and uh, it's a, just a super fun, easy weekend there's a whole lot of unplanned going on everyone works on their own throughout the weekend um and i um it is i'm not taking any more bookings for this year it is booked out it will be i will be doing it next year as well um it's here in south australia in victor harbour um, so in this beautiful sunny town of Victor Harbour and it is absolutely gorgeous down there and it is a Friday afternoon we start and go through to Sunday afternoon um, just enough time I mean yes we all would love it to be significantly longer but I can't do it longer um, but yeah, it's, it's a great weekend. Um, this year's just because of the apocalypse, as we like to call it here, um, it's just too hard to try and coordinate, um, any, any more, uh, people in it so um, and I keep the numbers very very low at 40 people um, I've capped it at that this year so um, I'm really looking forward to doing that 
Um, okay, so a couple of things that have happened here that I'm just noticing. Um, my The head of my man is a little loose. Nobody likes a loose head. So I'm using some Dimensional Magic, which is a product that has been around forever and ever and ever, ever, ever. And I, and it's blocked. Um, it is like glossy accents, but I like it because it's more fluid than glossy accents. Um, and I'm just putting a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to tap it really lightly under here and just hold it to keep that, to stick that down. Because I want it to be stuck. <laughs> yeah. So I haven't chosen a date for next year's retreat yet. Um, you know what? It's just a little, it's a little too close to, to you know, it's just working out what's happening next year. Nobody knows what's happening next freaking week, for goodness sake. So, um I haven't chosen a date for next year, but I will be doing that very soon. Um, so yes, the retreat, I will probably be teaching a class at the retreat. Uh, in the past, I've had some guest, guest teachers in Fiona Paltridge, Amanda Baldwin. Um, some of my lovely, lovely creative friends have taught classes for me. Uh, they are optional to do, not compulsory. They are, um, yeah, really, really fun. All right, so I'm on the right track here. Cogs are on. And they're blending in quite nicely to the background. What I'm going to do is across here is I'm going to put a title in a moment. What about the cruise for next year? Oh, shit, I forgot about that. I don't know what's happening with the cruise, to be perfectly honest. I think cruising is... Um, I think everybody's a bit unsure what's going on with cruising. That's in, when is the cruise? End of February, beginning of March, perhaps. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am hosting a cruise. It'll be me, me and me that you just get to hang out with me. Um, for the whole cruise. But the cruise is going from Sydney to Hobart. It is a nice local little cruise. The last I heard, what is happening with the cruise industry is more the fact that around Australia, there's nobody to, to work on the cruise ships because majority of the people who work on cruise ships are from overseas. And because nobody's traveling anywhere, I don't know how they're going to get the staff to staff cruise ships. So, I um, the cruise is through Unmistakable Creations through Melissa Kennedy. And this will be the fourth cruise, maybe? Um, and I cannot wait, actually... I mean, yes, unfortunately, I think we're all going to have to, but it's scrapbooking and card making. It's a paper craft cruise. Um, and then as an optional extra, depending if on whether or not there's enough people who are interested, in the evenings, I may be doing some art journaling. So it'll be wine and art journaling in the evening, but it is advertised as a paper craft cruise because that is what people want to be doing. Um, this little stamp that I'm using says, don't judge me. Um, and I'm using that just around the page as you've been watching when I off stamp. So you can you see how I've stamped it once and then you stamp it three or four times. So it start, you can still read what it says, but it's not super strong. All right, I still need some sort of a title to, to stick on here. So I'll come up with something in a minute. Uh, but before I do that, I want to doodle. I want to doodle a little. And I'm going to use my black paint pen. Which I can't find. I, want, I don't want that super fine one. I want the other one. Oh, here it is.
So the Pintor Paint Pens is, uh, they, they are my go-to pen because they just work beautifully. Um, so I just want to create a border all the way around. I'm just waiting on a new order to come in of Pintor Paint Pens, a top up of the colors. Um, I really love these. I love these more than Posca's. And that wasn't dry. There it is. Um, but I'm just working on that little frame around the edge of my page. Like that. And I'm going to take some photos and I'll put this in the um, in the group a little bit later to show you what how it's all come up. Um, next thing I want to do is... It, my cogs aren't standing out enough, so I'm going to pull back some of the magicals that I had before and a thinner paintbrush and this black that I've got I want to put a little bit of black on my edges and what's going to happen is that those edges are going to stand out just a little bit more and it's going to help it just pop a little um Oh, the paint pens. Yeah, look, I love the paint pen. Well, I think I've I've been a huge collector of Posca pens, like a lot of us have, um, and I just cracked the shits with them when I couldn't get them to work every single time. I want to pick up a pen, uh, a paint pen, and not have to work for it, not have to spend 15 minutes priming it and trying to get the freaking thing to get some ink happening, and that just really bugs me so um i love that the the pintor the pilot pens will i mean i've found that they've worked every single time the only time mine hasn't worked i've got an extra fine black that is almost empty that one takes just a little bit more love to get going um That is the only problem that I have had because, and it's and it's almost empty because I've really quite you know used it. Um, but other than that, the colours have they, they just seem to be a bit more pigmented. They're a little bit nicer to use than Posca's. Um, right, black and white for dimension. Right, so I'm going to go with black on here. Smoker's tap. It's a smoker's tap. It's not a wrist flick. I'm, I'm ashing a cigarette rather than um, rather than flicking my wrist. All right. So that's the trick to flicking, and it takes practice. I used to be a very good smoker. I was a splendid smoker back in the day, um, and I need to find some sort of witty comment to put on there. So I might have a look at my snarky words. I've got a heap, sorry, I've got a heap of small talk, big talk. Um, these ones will do. Oh, that might be a bit big. Um, I will try not to laugh at my own jokes, but we all know I'm hilarious. Um, I would love that, but it's too big for the page. Okay, too big. Too big, too big, too big. Let's try these little baby ones. I used to have pads and pads of these, and I'd just I'd go through them a lot. Um, let's see if I can find that. People think I'm shy, but really I just have no interest in talking to idiots. <laughs> Um, I'd love to talk, but I'm in a hurry to get home so I can be alone. That's pretty funny. Um, nothing says I mean business like using a cart at a liquor store. Yeah. Um. 
Um, sorry, I'm I'm, f I'm spending much too much time doing this. Um, okay, my level of sarcasm has got to the point where I don't even know if I'm kidding or not. That's pretty accurate. Is it only those pages? Or have I used them all? Oh, here's some more. I just rescued some wine. It was trapped in a bottle. No, that was last night. All right. Let's just grab that one. So these I love, but they're always too long. So don't be afraid to cut them back. then we are done actually before I stick it on I want to edge it in black because I hate that they've got that white edge of the sticker which of course because it's paper and it's printed that's like a thing but they look so much better if you just run your paint pen all the way around and trust me it's easier to do before you stick it on because the amount of times that I have tried to do this after and messed it up is re just ridiculous um, oh look there's still people watching sorry guys I'm just creating along here and I keep forgetting that you know you guys have probably got things to do um, all right let's whack that baby down smack bang in the middle of this guy and I don't mind that's going over the top of his head so stick 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 and I'm going to need to put some tape underneath that because I can get my finger there and it's not sitting straight so I'm going to use some of the silicon but silicon foam tape because it is transparent and just put a small amount in under there I'm liking it I'm liking it I'm liking it is anybody playing along with I know I didn't give you any clue about what I was doing which you know would make it really difficult for you guys to be playing along with but if you cre are you creating something at the same time anybody turn the comments back on Getting a little scribbly with my uh, pilot pen. Super thin. Looks great. Thanks, Sandra. All right, girls. I've had. I've wasted enough of your day. Um, my page is all but done. I'm just going to do a little scribble because you know. Oh, and the dogs are outside fighting over a bone. Apologies. They look like they're still having freaking teenagers. Um, okay. Let's bring that up and have a look. It's messy, but it, it, it's come together okay. There's lots of really, you know, mixing two products together and, and playing with a couple of different techniques. I'm loving. We've got die cut elements. It's a junk journal page, so I'm working on a piece of really thin paper, but it's worked, and the graph paper. Um, I love this. I'm absolutely loving it. The only thing I will, will, will want to do is I'm going to use my stapler to add some more embellishments, staple my cogs together a bit more, um, and then I'm going to have to pull out my long arm stapler to do the ones in the middle 
Um, but you kind of, whoops, hang on, just over there. Um, you get the gist of it. It's it's supposed to be fun. So don't, oh, and I've run out of staples, so that problem that solves that problem. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, girls, thanks for staying and playing with me this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed this little um, this little free mini class. Um, and thank you for sticking with me, like <laughs> just two hours of waffling on. Um, and, yeah, it's it does actually look so much better in real life than it does on camera. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of loving this, actually. Um, so I'm going to go and annoy my husband now because he's inside thinking that he's having a day off and I bet I can find a million jobs for him to do. Um, but yeah, enjoy. And if, like I said, if you place an order today or tomorrow, guys, um, mention in the comments of your order as well that you would like a, a, a free stubby holder or that you saw me do the page and I will add it to your order. Um, as only today and tomorrow, which is the, what's today's date? God, Natalie, where's the date on my iPad? Here we go. I don't even know what today's date is. How sad is that? 26th of September and 27th of September. So if you go back and watch this in a week's time, you're not getting a free study holder. That's not how it works. Um, so thank you very much, girls. You are awesome. You are, you've been incredibly supportive of me and I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, and I will chat to you all really, 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 really soon. Okay, guys, have a great day. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, go give your husband a snog and um, I'll chat to you all really, really soon. Bye.